Yo, yo, welcome to Trippy Commentaries. I'm RJ. Thank you for joining us in our search for the jetpack in Grand Theft Auto V. Today I have some really cool things I needed to talk about, including a brand new update that we'll be getting in the game. It is called the High Life Update. And I don't know about you guys, but when I think of High Life, I definitely think of possibly being high in the skies with the jetpack. So I'll definitely talk about that. There's been a lot of things that have been confirmed. There's some things that aren't confirmed, but we know that they will be in the update. So I'll talk about that. And uh, the bottom line is, why is it called High Life? But none of the things that they've confirmed so far really lead me to believe that we'll be high. I mean, yeah, you're living the high life, I guess, with the brand new high scale apartments that they're adding, but you know, that's about it. Uh, while I talk about this new update, I will show off some pretty suspicious areas. Here we have an unmarked grave, which is hidden on the banks of the Zancudo River. Uh, we all know Fort Zancudo is certainly one of the most suspicious areas in San Andreas. And not too far away from it, you do have this really crazy looking grave. On the top, you can see some uh, cool designs. Pretty interesting. And uh, normally Rockstar doesn't put random things in areas for no reason. There's got to be a reason that this is here. Um, I've tried some things to open it. You know, nothing seems to work, which leads me to believe that it doesn't just simply get blown open. Maybe you have to do something to open it. Or, you know, maybe it just has some sort of symbolic meaning. And uh, there's actually another hidden grave that we'll go check out as well. So, not too sure why this is here, guys. Let me know if you think that there is anything up to it. Uh, some people have correlated the jetpack with a grave. So, that's one of the reasons to believe that this might have some sort of deeper meaning. Um, you know, it's very well hidden. It's behind a damn tree, so you really can't find it unless you're looking extra hard and uh, you never know guys it's not an average grave it definitely has a pretty crazy and unique look to it and it's something we probably need to keep in mind in this jetpack hunt I'll meet you guys at the next unmarked hidden grave here's another suspicious area the Mount Gordo lighthouse uh, nothing seems to be going on here right now, so maybe that is just a sign that there's something more to be discovered here. Because um, other than maybe a random event or, you know, the yoga that we looked at out in Mount Gordo, there's not much going on in this area. Now, if you come over to this hillside, you can find the second unmarked grave. Pretty cool area, you know, it's overlooking Mount Chiliad, you have Mount Gordo in the other direction. And the lighthouse is, you know, right down there. This one is certainly a lot different than the other unmarked grave. This is just a wooden cross. Uh, but it's definitely pretty cool. And uh, some people have speculated that uh, the random character that you run into, who lives over in this house way down here, uh, she talks about how she had to kill her mother and, and all that. So some people have speculated that this is her mother's grave. I don't completely buy it. I mean, that would mean that she'd have to come all the way down this road and cross the river and come up this side. You know, you'd think she would just do it over here on the Mount Gordo side if that was the case, but I, I guess it is a possibility. Um, now, getting into the High Life update, um, the big thing that I've heard that they're putting in or they're updating for the game is going to be the apartments that people use on GTA Online. So... Oh, damn it. <laughs> These cats are always trying to kill me. Um, so, yeah, that's the main update. A lot of people who play online are extremely happy about it um, because, really, all of the high-scale apartments that they have right now all pretty much look the same. So this will add some new varieties. It will have, you know, new interiors and all that. So that should be pretty cool. The one thing that I'm really looking forward to is the new vehicles. You know, that's the one thing that I always look at, especially... You know, GTA 5 is now proven that they are willing to give us all kinds of free vehicles for no reason at all, and we'll have a whole new slew of them coming in. Now, that said, you know, the jetpack is not one of them as far as, you know, what we can find in the vehicle codes um, of GTA 5. We're going to receive four new vehicles. One is called the Enos Huntley. Uh, that is going to be a luxury SUV. We're going to have the Dinka Thrust which, you know, I'm really looking forward to. That's going to be a brand new motorcycle. You know it's going to be sick. And 
and uh, it's probably going to be fast as hell. Really can't wait to get that one and upgrade it and show it to you guys. I'll definitely show that off as soon as possible. Um, the third vehicle is called the Pegasi Zentorno. Now, uh, that I can imagine is going to be a really nice supercar, as well as the fourth new vehicle, the Dubok Massacro. Oh boy, so that's going to be pretty sick, cannot wait to check those out, and uh, I'll definitely show them off right away, but, you know, nothing about a jetpack as far as a vehicle is concerned. The other updates we're going to get in the High Life update is going to be new jobs for online. You're going to have new guns, so that's always welcomed, and then just more improvements. You know, you'll have some more stuff to do and uh, just better usability from the GTA online multiplayer. Now, uh, one other area that we need to come look at is these tunnels over here at the bottom of Mount Chiliad. Now, if you look in one of them, you will find a soccer ball. And this is the only soccer ball found in the game. Now, you might be asking, you know, RJ, what the hell does a soccer ball have to do with anything? I, I've had a lot of people come and uh, say that they think the balls that you can find here in Grand Theft Auto V probably have some kind of meaning. A lot of them are really secret. You know, you can find some giant orange balls on the top of huts. And uh, this is the only soccer ball found in the game now. I remember a soccer ball Easter egg in Halo 2. That was a pretty big deal. Um, and you can roll it around everywhere. And you can really do the same kind of stuff here in GTA 5. Now, uh, one thing that's awfully suspicious is you can hit the soccer ball. And by the way, it won't pop. You can shoot it. You can kick it as well. Um, sometimes I find shooting a little bit easier. But uh, once you shoot it down, there's a... What the hell? Who's shooting me? How dare you? Who are you? Um, but yeah, there's a perfect slope that leads right down here. And uh, you can kind of kick the soccer ball down the uh, vent. And it'll keep going all the way down to the beach below. Now, uh, my theory is that they want us to take this ball somewhere. I don't know where, but it seems a little bit too um, suspicious that there is a perfect ramp that leads all the way down to the beach and uh, then you can grab the soccer ball and kick it around down on the beach now I've attempted to actually kick it oh, damn it really not now I'm trying to show off soccer <laughs> or football for uh, you Europeans and really anybody else who's not in America <laughs> um, but yeah so you can grab the soccer ball it comes all the way down this piping and you can really kick it all the way down here on this beach. Now, I've tried to take it pretty far, and eventually, I don't know if it just disappears or what, because I've tried it multiple times and have not been successful. Damn it, soccer ball. Go, oh, damn you. You can kick it, by the way. It's possible to kick it. You can actually get a nice rhythm, but for some reason, I'm having a hard time. All right, the cops are starting to come here in force, so I definitely got to watch out for them. Wish they would leave me alone so um, my theory is that you can take this soccer ball and uh, take it all the way down the beach now. As I mentioned, it disappears at some point, so who knows? Um, you never know. Maybe there's somewhere close that kind of resembles a goal. Definitely check it out for yourselves, guys, because my theory is that we have to take that soccer ball and put it somewhere to unlock another step of the Easter egg. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk about, of course, finalize with the high life update you know once again I'm just not sure why it has that name that name really leads me to believe that you know the high life is is something to do with the jetpack that's why they're calling it the high life update there's no new planes or jets or helicopters that are going to be added at least that have been figured out at you know right now and um, you know I think with the the clue that the jetpack is now hidden in the game my main theory is that the High Life update is going to add the jetpack, but we still have to find it. Where the hell is it, and what do we have to do to unlock it, guys? That's the question. I uh, really appreciate you guys checking out this episode. Please make sure to drop your comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, one last thing I will show off in this episode as I sign out is a crazy glitch. There's actually a door to another dimension that leads you 
underneath the map in a free fall. So well, we'll check that out. And uh, once again, thank you guys for watching the episodes. Really appreciate those of you who've been following the series. That really means a lot. In fact, uh, one guy I want to give a shout out to is Muzzy MK, uh, one of our smartest uh, subscribers here at the channel. A uh, big shout out to you. Thank you so much for the uh, theories and information you provide. You're awesome. And uh, also the rest of you guys, you know, much more shout outs to come. And uh, definitely make sure to stay tuned to the next episode. I'm RJ. I'll catch you in the next installment. Peace out.